In this video, I'm going to explain how to use DJ Pro AI's Neural Mix. Hey, this is Timmy G with another DJ Pro AI video. Neural Mix is algorithm solution to deconstruct tracks to isolate drums, harmonies, bass, melody, and vocals. I'm going to explain how to use it and when I think the best scenarios you might want to use it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So to get to Neural Mix, you want to go right here. And this will give you all your Neural Mix options. You can either do four stem mode. You can do three stem mode and there's two options. There's drum, bass, melodic and drums, harmonic and vocals. And then there's two stem mode, which is instrumental and acapella and percussive and tonal. So right here, if you click, you see you have fade options. And if I go to four stem mode, you see that I have more options and we'll get to that later in the video. So right now I'm just gonna show you how all this works by loading some of my tracks and showing you all the different options that we have in Neuromix. So I have my track loaded on my first deck. I have a girlfriend and I don't have any money. And this is a track of mine where I sing in it. It's classic rock and blues kind of mixed with a little bit of dubstep, but I'm gonna focus more on the classic rock part for now. And then I'm gonna play my track, Gonna Be Fat, which is a heavier EDM tune that's more in your face. And then we can compare the two. So I'm gonna to get to a spot where I know I have vocals. I can't find you. When I hit this button, I get the drums soloed out. If I hit this button, I mute the drums. I can't buy nice and then I can change the volume and of the I drums by going like this with this fader. No, 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 it ain't funny. So that's the bass. You want to be listening on super good headphones or a super good sound system because the frequency is super low. My wallet is empty And there's nothing in my pocket Now I'm getting in and out with the bass I'm spending all my money Here's the harmonic soloed but I don't know what to do when my debt is getting deep Someone should have told me that girls are not cheap We're gonna get back to a vocal part so we can test the vocals I can't buy new clothes I can't buy new shoes I can't afford booze No, no, no Cause I have a girlfriend and I don't have any So that's what Neural Mix sounds like. Right here where I have the vocals kind of lower but not all the way down, I think could be a great application for karaoke. Uh, the singer could sing over it and you don't really hear the main vocals of the track but they're not all the way gone. So yeah, I think that'd be really cool. So with the classic rock song that's not really in your face, uh, the stem control is actually pretty decent. Uh, now it's not like professional stems that you could like make a remix with or anything high quality like that, but there are some cool things that you can do and I'm gonna show you how to do that later in the video. Anyway, now I'm just gonna go through the three stem mode and the two stem mode and all of those options. So now I'm in three stem mode, drum, bass, and melodic. So I'm gonna play right here. Now you'll notice the drums kind of sound the same no matter what setting you're in, so I'm just gonna kind of go through those quickly. Don't know what to do when my dad is getting deep. Same with the drums, the bass kind of sounds similar. So now I'm gonna go with the melodic. Someone should have told me that girls are not cheap. All right, so that was drums, bass, and melodic. Now I'm gonna go to uh, drums, harmonic, and vocals. Drums sound the same. No money, no phone, no money, no computer, no money, no home, no money. Once again, this could be a good idea to use it for karaoke or something like that. 
So I'm going to go to two-stem mode, and I'm on percussive and tonal. So I'm going to go back to a part with the vocals. Can't buy an ice cream. And I can't afford booze. No, 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 it ain't funny. And I don't have any money. I'm going to switch to instrumental and acapella. And there's nothing in my pocket. I'm spending all my money. And I so that's the general idea of Neural Mix. So I'm going to go to my next track, going to be Fat, and I'm going to go to the reverse order. So two-stem mode first, then three-stem mode, and all those options, and then four-stem mode. I'm going to try to go through this quickly, so I'm going to jump to a spot that will hopefully... Listen to this track, know that this one's going to be fat. All right, now I'm going to switch to percussive and tonal. And I'll go to a part that has vocals. And now I'm going to switch to three stems. So if you notice, uh, I'm in vocal mode, and when I turn the vocals down, the sound changes, even though there's no vocals in the track, so that's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, I'll keep going. Anyway, I'm going to go to drums, bass, and melodic. So you can tell the sub bass isn't there when I turn this all the way down. Now it doesn't get all the melodic, just mostly the melodic. That was mostly just the drum and the bass. And now I'm going to do a uh, four stem mode. So here we go. So what's cool about the four stem mode is that you can have two of them on and then two of them off or something like that. You can just mess around and you really just have more combinations. So you get the basic idea of what Neural Mix is. Uh, like I said, because this track is super aggressive and bassy, I don't think it was as good with the Neural Mix as, let's say, the classic rock song that we just played. Um, but you can figure out and mess around what Neural Mix you're going to use and how you're going to use it based on your needs. Now I'm going to show you a couple of applications that you can use while using Neural Mix. So I'm going to load my tracks A Major Problem and Feel Good. So I'm going to load my hot cues. I'm going to start here, and I'll put this in the middle. And then I want this to start here. So like I mentioned before, if I click this button right here, I have the option to mix each stem, crossfade each stem. So I can, let's say, mix the vocal part of one track with uh, the bass or the drum of the other track and vice versa. So now I'm going to show you a smooth transition of how to get from one track to another uh, using these, which might be a little bit smoother than just your typical fade in and fade out or crossfade of two different tracks. So I'm going to have everything go to the left deck. And for this to work, I'm going to have to change my crossfader settings. Usually I just mix with my individual channels, um, but for this I'm going to use the crossfader. So I'm going to change this to fade. So I'm going to go to my preferences, 
And right now it's on cut. So I'm going to change it to default. So now it's, if it's over to the left here, it's going to be different than over to the right and so on. Anyway, I'm going to start on the left and then move each of these one at a time in order to get a smoother transition. They put my tracks on the bottom But you know this beat is awesome We got a major problem Those new DJs to me top them They put my tracks on the bottom But you know this beat is awesome We got a major problem We got a major problem We got a major problem So that's one of the many ways that you can use uh, Neuralmix. Now in the future, I'm wondering if Algorithm or some company will make a DJ controller that allows you to change these settings on hardware, because I feel like it'd be really cool to get that feeling on the hardware. But as of now, Algorithm doesn't make any controllers to the best of my knowledge. But either way, the possibilities here are really cool. Now the one way that you could use hardware with Neuralmix is actually by using your EQ knobs. So if you click right here where it says EQ, you have an option to change that to neural mix. So instead of having your lows, your middles, your highs, um, right now you can use drums, harmonics, and vocals. And I'm in three stem mode. So if I change this, if I go change this to drums, bass, and melodic, you'll see it changes here. And then I can adjust these. So you could like put this knob down while maybe raising this knob up and set, well, I'd have to change this to neural mix, but like have this knobs melodic down while this one's up and if this one was down then you could change this down while you change this up and so on so that would be how to use it in hardware now i don't have my dj controller plugged in during this tutorial but maybe in the future i'll explore that option the last thing i'm going to do here is use a vocal stem and mix that with the looper now to get to the looper you click right here um, you might see the sampler which is right here um, but i'm going to get back to the looper so now i'm going to load my track i got no love so I'm gonna to go to the hot cue, and this is a loop that I have right here. Let me get this actually in the right spot. And I'm only gonna have the vocal on. So you can hear some rogue sounds, so I'm gonna turn the lows all the way down. You mostly don't notice it, but for any of those noises that the AI does not cut out, uh, this is helpful. And I'm also going to turn on some effects on this vocal track. So I'm going to put some echo on. So I'm going to turn that maybe like that right there. I don't want the effect too wet, probably more dry. And you can hear the effect uh, ring out after I stop the track, which is pretty cool. I'm now going to turn some reverb on as well. So something like this. So I added a lot of echo and reverb when I was actually producing this track. Um, but now that I've isolated it, I think it sounds pretty cool with a little bit of extra airiness and uh, more ring to it. But you can do whatever you want. So now what I'm going to do is play this acapella over different loops from the looper, and you'll notice that it's going to sound like a completely different track, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and there's all sorts of things we can mess around with. So I'm going to go back over here. Oh, you, I got my love for you, I've been a great 
So mixing the acapella with the looper can really come up with some cool sounds. Um, and you might be able to use something like this to make a track that isn't as dancey have a dancier vibe or whatever. There's all sorts of possibilities. The looper deserves its own video, and I'll be making one of those in the future because uh, I didn't even come close to exploring all of these features that it has. So that's about it on using Neural Mix in DJ Pro. If you like this video or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my other DJ tutorials, music production tutorials, DJ performances, and original music, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. So good.